I get questions all the time from high school students asking me what they can do now to help prepare to become an actuary when they grow up. First of all, bless you guys for knowing what you want to do in high school. I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up. But today I thought I would just go over the question of what kind of courses would be helpful in becoming an actuary that you can take while still in high school. So I thought I'd tell you guys about the elective courses that I took when I was in high school, and then I would tell you sort of a hindsight view into what I probably should have taken or what helpful courses I might have taken. One thing to note is that I did grow up in Quebec. Instead of having high school until grade 12, I stopped high school in grade 11. And instead of having a four-year university degree, I had a three-year university degree, and then I had two years in the middle called CGEP. So as compared to most of you, I ended high school one year earlier, but I started university one year later. Hope this is helpful! Starting in grade 8, I was placed in advanced math. What we did is half the year we did all the grade 8 math, half the year we did all the grade 9 math, and then in grade 9 I did grade 10 math, grade 10 I did grade 11 math, and then in grade 11 we did a course called pre-calculus. Now this, I think, was a very helpful thing to do because one, math is something that I really enjoy, and two, if you want to become an actuary, you've got to be strong in math. You don't have to be a straight-A student, but you should definitely have an interest in math. You might not love your high school math experience because, let's be honest, high school math is not the most interesting math in the world, but you should at least enjoy it enough to want to take math classes. If you have a chance to take advanced math courses, do it. If you have a pre-calculus, a calculus, a statistics, Statistics would be really helpful. I did that in CGEP and I found that to be extremely helpful. Coming into university with a knowledge of how basic probability and statistics works. In grade 10 we were given two option courses. I chose to take Enriched Biology and Spanish because those were the smart person classes to take. All the smart kids took Enriched Biology and Spanish. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I chose my elective courses so wrong that year. Not because those courses didn't have anything to do with actuarial math, but because I didn't enjoy them. And enjoying your classes is so much more important than what the classes are. Because for me, I did not enjoy Spanish. I did not come out there learning Spanish. I did not enjoy enriched biology. I did not come out of that course learning anything about enriched biology. I studied for the tests. I did what I had to do. I passed the courses and then I moved myself along. I don't really remember what the other course options were, but I should have taken some sort of an art course. If there was a computer science option, I would say do that. I don't think there was. But computer science is something that I would really recommend to you guys regardless of the language. In CEGEP, so that's my between high school and university, I took a Java course, and then in university I took a C++ course. Neither of those are languages that I use now, but just knowing any computer programming language is helpful in learning other computer programming languages. So that's a tip to you guys, is computer science, good. In grade 11 we had the option of either three electives or take the science route and do physics, and chemistry. I went for physics and chemistry, no regrets there. I found the courses interesting, I was engaged. In CEGEP I studied pure and applied sciences, so I needed those physics and chemistry courses in order to get into my program. By the time I started university I had taken three levels of calculus, which I'll be honest, as an actuary you definitely don't need three levels, like you need basic derivatives and basic integrals to pass your exams, and you're not going to actually use integrals or derivatives in your courses. I remember a few months ago though we were talking about Poisson processes because I was trying to model something using a Poisson process and I was looking around going, I used to know this. <laughs> Even though you won't remember everything that you learn in university and you won't remember everything that you learn in high school, it's useful to have known it at least once. Because if you've known something once, if you learned it before, it's much easier to pick it up again. If you had to teach yourself Poisson processes from scratch at the age of 25 while you're working full time, no thank you. But because I already had a general idea of how it worked, because I had taken statistics courses in university, not in high school, it just made life a lot easier. So what courses should you guys take? I don't know what your options are, but I would say whatever your advanced math course is, take that one. Stats, if it's an option, do that. If you have an economics class or a finance class, that one would be a really good one to go for. Computer programming, super strong. Ultimately, I would really just recommend going for courses that you feel interested in. Don't take the courses that you feel like you should take. One of my favorite courses that I took in university was a creative writing class because I was just so fed up with all the math classes that I said I'm gonna take a course that is completely unrelated and you know what? 
I ended up getting an A in that class because I was having fun, because it was something different, because I wasn't just doing proofs anymore. There's value in any course that you take as long as you take value from it. Even if you wanted to take a visual art class, just being able to visualize things beautifully is so useful in the workplace. When someone gives me a report that's sort of just thrown together, it doesn't bring the same appeal as when someone presents me a beautifully designed report or a really nice PowerPoint slide. Writing courses are really useful, just being able to communicate with people, public speaking, knowing how to express yourself. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been a hot minute since I've been in high school, so I don't remember what other electives are, but those would be the ones that I'd gravitate towards. Are you in high school? What electives are you planning to take? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to see more of my face. I love you guys. Thank you for calling. Bye.